Sustainability is a key issue for Anheuser-Busch InBev. We have to remember that beer is a natural product. Uh, we use a lot of natural ingredients. It's a craft product. It has been in our social fabric for many years and generations. And uh, we feel it's our obligation as a company to work uh, in the environment that surrounds us. Our dream as a company is to be the best beer company in the better world. You have two parts to it, the best beer company in the better world. And both interact, are complementary and very important. Uh, the best beer company is all about uh, brewing the best quality beers in the world. It's all about attracting the very best talent to be able to do that. It's all about the ownership culture that we have and the pursuit of this dream. Uh, and doing all this in a very efficient manner. The better world, it's all about the realization, uh, the fact of the matter, that our consumers and customers and our people and ourselves will live in communities. And because of that, we need to constantly interact with the outside stakeholders that surround our business. And we divided our better world efforts in three pillars, basically. The first one is about responsible enjoyment of our products. That's key because, again, our sense of purpose is to, to brew the best quality beers for the very finest moments in life when you're celebrating and having good times and bringing people together. The second pillar is about the environment. I mean, we draw our raw materials from the environment, especially water. So for us, it's very important to minimize any impacts that we have in the environment. Uh, and that's why that's the second pillar, the whole part of all the environment. And just this year, uh, some months ago, we came out with uh, global targets for the next three years in three things, or three pillars. Uh, one is uh, water consumption. We're committed to reduce water consumption by almost 20% from the levels we have today and come to three and a half liters per liter of beer produced by the end of the year 2012. The second one is on heat and energy consumption and therefore carbon emission, reducing it by 10% in the next uh, three years. And the third one is about the recyclability of our byproducts. Today we're saying 98%, we want to get to 99%. So again, that's the second pillar. And the third pillar is the whole thing about community involvement. Again, our customers, our people, our consumers live in communities and we have to care for those communities and work together with them in issues that, in which we can help uh, because that's just uh, the right thing to do and it's also good for the business. I think sustainability is one of those things that uh, uh, if you can get to it in a win-win type situation, that's the best way. So if you can do it because it's not only the right thing to do, but it makes business sense, then you can be clear it's not going to be a fad, it's not going to be a one or two year program, it's going to be a way to manage your business, a way to manage your interaction with the outside stakeholders. And that's the way we look at it. So we talk about the three pillars because they are an integral part of our business and sustainability of our business going into the future. Today, our people, our consumers, and our customers, they want to know where we stand in issues like water consumption, heat consumption, energy consumption, and recyclability of byproducts. And we've always been there. We've always done it because we always thought it was the right thing to do and it was good for the business. Now we're being more vocal about it because the world has evolved, consumers have evolved, and they want to know more specifics about where we stand and the journey on which you are. Uh, so we always recognize that we can do things much better than we're doing today. That's why the motto of our company is always about opening gaps and closing gaps. And in order to do that, we're always looking for internal benchmarks, external benchmarks, to be able to know what's best in class, where we stand, therefore establishing a gap, and the whole duty of management is really establish those gaps and then look of ways and learnings and best practice to close those gaps on everything, on the best beer company and also on the better world, part of our dream. I think it's important to say that the way we work, what makes our company, what we stand for, is what we call our dream people culture. Our dream is to be the best beer company in the better world. We can only achieve that by having the best people 
uh, attracting the very best talent, retaining, deploying, developing, training these people, because everything we do, it's all dependent on the kind of people and talent we have in the company. And the culture piece, it's all about this ownership culture. So this idea that you own your business, that you don't have to ask this question about, what about if I had my own business? This is your business. And we try to foster an environment where people really believe and act as owners in our company. And they stay in our company for a long period of time. We love to have people here that stay for 20 years, 30 years, because we think that's the true, true test of, uh, of ownership. When you live with the consequences of your decisions, good and bad, you know, because there's always risk in a decision. So because people, dream, and culture is such a central element of what we stand for, that's the whole, the whole thing. I mean, people, our people, because they bought into the dream, and because they understand that they own the business, they're always trying to look for best practices, benchmarks internally, outside, because they understand that the only way to keep getting the company to the next level is by opening th those gaps and closing those gaps. Because we do it, not only because it's the right thing to do, but because it makes business sense, we see this uh, being with us for a long period of time. I think the other thing that also is very important for us is the long-term view. I mean, again, that has to do with ownership. Our people take a long-term view of our business. So we avoid shortcuts. We avoid things that are fads. We're interested in things that really build a great company. And we understand that this is a journey. It takes time and patience to build a great company. But that's where we had it. That's where we're in business for.